Hi, my name is Rishta and today we're going to learn a few important metrics that will help you evaluate how well your strategy has performed. So let's say that you backtested your strategy and you expected an overall profit of $1,000, but in reality, you got a very impressive profit of $1,500. Now, even though your profit is better than what you expected, does that mean that your strategy is viable? Can you say just by looking at the PNL, can you say that the uh, that the strategy is uh, completely viable? That's not really the case. Simply looking at the PNL cannot tell you that the strategy is completely viable. So you need to look at a few other metrics also, such as the duration, the average duration of a particular trade, or the win or loss percentage of each trade. So in this video, you are going to learn how to calculate these metrics using Python. So first things first, we need to import the libraries. Uh, so we're going to need the pandas and numpy libraries uh, for data manipulation. And we've already stored the backtest results in a CSV file. So we will read that CSV file using the read CSV method of pandas. And we'll store it in a data frame named trades. This data frame includes the entry date, the entry price, the exit date, the exit price, and the PNL of each trade. So we will start with the win percentage. That's the first metric that we are going to calculate. The win percentage is a very important metric. It will tell you the proportion of winning trades in comparison with the total number of trades. The formula is very simple. You just have to divide the number of winning trades by the number of total trades. So uh, for this, we will uh, start by creating a data frame uh, named analytics. Here we will store all the trade level analytics that we are going to calculate. In this data frame, we are going to create a column named total trades. This will give you the number of total trades and we will get this by using the len method. So wherever our position is equal to one, we will get the total number of trades of wherever our position is one. Next, we will find the number of winners and losers. Trades that give us a profit of greater than zero are winning trades. And similarly, trades that generate a profit of less than zero are losers. So we will get the length of all the trades where the PNL was greater than zero and the length of all the trades where the PNL was less than or equal to zero. And now all we have to do is apply the formula. For uh, the win percentage, we will divide the number of winners by the number of total trades and multiply it by 100. Similarly, for the loss percentage, we will divide the number of losers by the number of total trades and multiply it by 100. So for this strategy, the total trades were 73, out of which the number of winners was 39 and the number of losers was 34. This indicates that the total proportion of winning trades is more than the proportion of losing trades. But does that mean that a strategy performed really well or that it did not perform well at all? So the win percentage comes out to be 53%, but around 46% of our trades are loss trades. So does that mean that our strategy did not perform well? That's not entirely true. Even a win rate of less than 50% can mean that you have a good strategy at hand. Uh, it may sound logical that a higher percentage of win rate would be a good strategy, but if you have more winners generating a higher proportion of profit, then even a lower win percentage can mean that you have a good strategy. So to determine that, you also need to know the average profit or loss per trade. So next, let's calculate the average PNL. The average profit per winning trade is calculated in a very simple manner. You just have to divide the total profit made by all the winners by the number of winning trades. So uh, we already have the number of winning trades. Now let's get the per trade profit or loss of winning trades. So to get the per trade PNL for winners, we will just get the average, which means the mean of all of the winning trades. And similarly, to get the per trade PNL for losers, we will get 
the mean for all the losing trades so here you can see the average profit per trade comes out to be 91.29 which is far greater than the average loss per trade which is 60.45 next we have the average trade duration the average trade duration is also known as the average holding period per trade so that is the amount of time that you held a particular trade this is important because your capital is locked during that time and it cannot be used anywhere else so that way it limits the number of trades that you can take and it also limits the potential profit that you can make so to calculate the average trade duration we will first calculate the holding period per trade that is the exit date minus the entry date Next we will calculate the average using the mean method. So we will we will first convert the entry time and the exit time to date time format using the 2 underscore date time method of pandas. Then we will calculate the holding period which is the exit date minus the entry date and then simply take the mean of it. So here the average holding period is 40 days and 15 hours. which is approximately 40 and a half days this is neither too large for sudden market changes nor too small for high transaction costs finally we will calculate the profit factor which measures the amount of money made against the amount of money that you've lost so basically it will tell you the amount of money that you've made against every dollar that you lost now to calculate the profit factor you will multiply the winning percentage that we calculated earlier with the average profit per trade and the loss percentage with the average loss per trade and then divide the two so the profit factor comes out to be 1.73 that means our strategy has gained 1.73 dollars for every dollar lost Go ahead and study the trade level analytics of your own strategy and in the comments below let us know if these analytics were in line with the overall profit of your strategy